Hey guys, what's up? Popeless Dragon here with another video. I'm um, doing something a little different than I deck profile today. Today I'm going to show you guys my misprint collection. Um, I'm a fan of misprints. I've been for a while. Um, don't have a huge collection of them, but I have a decent amount. I uh, figured I'd show them off to you guys and uh, feel free to leave any comments or uh, videos or anything else that you guys have of your misprints. Uh, always enjoy seeing new ones and something interesting. So, uh, Start off with a little something more common. Some people don't even consider them misprints, but uh, they're text errors. Pretty much just something's uh, missing, like um, on this Luster Dragon number two. It's missing its number two, so it just says Luster Dragon. Um, this is a little bit more common. I'm gonna go through these. Then we have uh, Quarkamu Gravi Rose, which if you can see down in the text, if I can find it says the one plant type monster in you hand when it should say your hand um just a little error should have an r there so just something interesting and it's on all of them as you can see this one has the same little error this grammatical error same thing with uh chaos emperor dragon envoy the end from uh, lost Millennium special edition um it says damage to yoru opponents should say your opponents but uh messed it up there then on Baxia, uh, they misspelled Synchro. Should have a Y in it, as you can see on Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. He's got a, I mean not a Y, but a H in there. So yeah, it says Synchro. It should be, well, I mean it still pronounces the same, but it should have a H right in between the C and the R. That's another cool little thing. Then um, on Hot Dragon Archfiend, it says Destoy instead of Destroy. You can destroy all other face up attack position monsters on the field. So, uh, it's another something interesting. Then we have Elantria Wild Edge from uh, Duels Pack 3. I think this might have been the Yugi one. It's been a little while. Um, he says Elantria Edge Man, which is the um, Blade Edge, but in Japanese he was Edge Man and they forgot to change that. So, in all of those, they kept it as Edge Man on accident. Then we have Amazonas Fighter, whose attack points were wrong in its original releasing. Should be 1500, but it's originally 1300. So you can see I got some of those there. Then we got Twin Mouth Dark Ruler. Um, it says a dinosaur with two deadly jaws. Um, they have it listed as dragon when it should be a dinosaur, as you can see here. But the misprint is listed as a dragon. Then we have Trial of Hell, uh, should be Trial of Nightmare, but in the first editions they left it with the Japanese name of Trial of Hell, so it's another cool little thing. Then on Twin Head Behemoth from the Star Deck, uh, I mean not Star Deck, Structure Deck, uh, it's a dragon one with a uh, Felgrand dragon in it, can't remember the name of it, but uh, there's extra zero here as you can see, EN0010. EN0010, I got a couple of those. But then if you look at a normal card, well, here let me get a little more, well, it's a little more up to date with this. Uh, you'll see that it should just be like EN082 instead of EN0010. So it's got an extra zero there. But yeah, there's some of those. Then we have uh, the Kinect Soldier from Champion Pack 4. That's light when he should be Earth. So, yeah. So that's the end of those little. I guess text errors you could say. Uh, next I'll go on to missing error. Like it should have something there. Like the original counter counter is the first edition from Tackle Evolution. It's supposed to be a counter trap, but they left off the counter. But then if you go on to the unlimited edition, they corrected it and put the counter on there. So as you can see, all of these first edition ones they left off. So something interesting I think. Then we have uh, Book of Secret Arts. Um, yeah, it should have a quill pen, as you can see here. But uh, I left it off on some of them. And some of it's first edition, some of it's unlimited. So uh, I don't know, just some of them were left without. Something interesting, I think, as well. Then same thing pretty much with the Sword of Dark Destruction. Um, again, first edition and limited, they messed up. They left off the lightning and the sword. So, 
That was something kind of cool. Uh, next we'll go on to miscut. These are pretty common. Um, at least I think they are. I got tons of them. But uh, pretty much you can just see where it should be more normal like this. But it's got a little bit farther on the front or back. Sometimes on the back you can see too it will be a little bit slighter there, larger here. Some of them are a little less, some are a little more. But Spirit Reaper has got very little black on the bottom, more on the top. On the back, you can tell. This Watt Fox is pretty miscut. Like you can see, it's starting to go into something else, but the top doesn't even have the top of it. And yeah, the back looks pretty bad. Same thing with the crevice, it's a different dimension. Magic Triangle of Ice Barrier. Same thing. Uh, then we got snow on my dark world that uh, is longer on the side, also kind of on the bottom, as you can see. And a in station pandemic. It's also kind of miscut, long on the side and bottom. Uh, Terraforma gravity on the back, though it looks fairly normal. That happened with all of these. Uh, Premium Pack 2 ones that I have. All of them are miscut like that, but they all have pretty much look normal in the back, which is kind of odd, but yeah. So there's for miscuts. Um, next, I guess we'll go on to uh, kind of messed up hollows. Uh, the Legend of Blue Eyes, Guy of the Dragon Champion. Um, it's supposed to just be Secret Rare, but it's Secret and Ultra which um, should have secret rare text up there but um, it's got ultra rare so something interesting then uh, Infernity Guardian some of them uh, were shown as hollow all the way on the attribute and the stars then others don't so shouldn't have that <laughs> but it's another something interesting Next I'll go on to no names. Uh, currently I only own one no name. Uh, I'd like to get more, but uh, it's no name Michael, as you can see. There's no name at all. They did not even have it printed on there, so well, that was pretty sweet. I had to pick this thing up. Then uh, go on to offset color. Uh, as you can see, this crevice is blue when uh, they're supposed to be purple, because this guy's first edition one, you can tell it's blue, it's a little bit different, these two are purple. Uh, first edition unlimited, both of them are purple, but this one's blue, so kind of interesting I thought. Then we have uh, the secret rare text, when it's supposed to only be a rare, we have Thousand Life Jellyfish, it's got the text of the secret, like I'm grabbing the secret here, so let's see. Uh, you can see it's got the secret rare text, even though it should just have rare text like something like this but uh, yeah I guess getting uh, seeing those we'll get on to uh, offset names uh, Carbonola Warrior this name is kind of low Saying on Universe this name is kind of high and then an Archfiend General that's quite high and going off a little and uh, then another one uh, Crimps where at the top of the pack they accidentally sealed the cards inside of it. Um, that's the only one I have that's crimped like that. I would like to have some more sometime, but uh, yeah, just something cool that they just kind of crap card, but still interesting to have some crimp. And then my favorite misprint, which I also only have one, is uh, an offset hollow, which uh, is Graceful Charity. I don't know if you guys can see that too well on camera, hopefully you can. But uh, you can kind of see their hands are down here, the hollow fort. And from the face, you can also kind of see what's off a little bit. Let's see if may I take out this little sleeve, you can see it a little better. Yeah, you can all see right here where the hollow is supposed to be for the little part where the I guess, thing ties together, shirt or whatever. Uh, you can see where it's down here. Yeah, just uh, pretty cool in my opinion. It's from uh, Star Deck Pegasus, so it's a pretty old one, but uh, yeah, still my favorite offset hollow. And like I said, I wouldn't mind having some more of these, but this is uh, the only one I have at the moment. 
So yeah, there was my misprint collection. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to leave any of your guys' misprint collections in the description or tell me anything you guys have. I like hearing about them or seeing them. And uh, yeah, see you all later. Thanks for watching.